Hello, hello, digital nomads. It's I, Eric, your course coordinator for OnRamp's Computer Science 302, coming back at you today to talk about cluster analysis. So first off, a note. As we are developing different analysis techniques, uh, you're going to have many different sheets down here with these different techniques. And one way that we can add sheets is by clicking this new worksheet icon and you'll see that will add in different sheets and we should start to name these after what they're going to be. So right here I'm going to make a sheet, I'm going to call it cluster analysis so we know what that is, that tab down at the bottom. By definition, clustering is the methodology used to determine groups in data, and those are what we call the clusters, and which points are members of each group. So as we can see in this illustration right here, um, we have a bunch of data points and you can see that uh, we can kind of clearly draw ovals around different clusters of data. And essentially this is what we're going to be trying to do with Tableau. We're going to be mapping um, different crimes onto the city of Austin map and we're going to see if we can identify uh, areas of the city where clusters of a specific type of crime perhaps take place. The database that we got from the city of Austin, their crime statistics, happens to have a latitude and a longitude component to it, so it makes it very easy to map where crimes take place. So I'm going to click latitude, I'm going to click longitude, uh, and you'll notice that all of a sudden they appear as a dot on a map. That doesn't appear to be very useful to us at first because it's just averaging all 4, 000, or 40,000 crimes in the city of Austin uh, and kind of putting a dot where the average of the latitude and longitude takes place. So up top you'll notice it even says AVG for average of latitude and longitude up here. I'm going to click the down arrow and I'm going to click instead that I want to turn this into a dimension. So when I do that you're going to notice instantly that all of these dots become discrete points on a map. Right now all 40,000 crimes appear as this kind of amorphous blob positioned over the city of Austin. Perhaps uh, it's a new lake that's forming. Uh, regardless, um, it would be helpful if we could tell which crime is which in this giant mass. Uh, you'll remember over here we have the actual dimension called um, highest offense description. That, in other words, the type of crime. We can drag that over here to color, and now it's going to color all of the different types of crimes. Whenever you get this dialog pop up, just say add all members. And now all of a sudden you see that all the crime is now uh, by color and it even gives you a key down here so that you can see uh, the different types of crime. Now this is also very difficult to find a specific cluster with. So we may have to rethink our strategy. How about instead of trying to look at all crimes, we pick a specific crime. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag it up to filters. And let's say, um, how about purse snatching? Let's just look at purse snatching. And we'll click apply. And instantly you can see that uh, Tableau has mapped uh, all the purse snatching. And it even zoomed in on the map because um, it only shows the map where these incidents take place. And you'll notice that there's one here, there's one down here in South Austin, there's one in far northwest Austin, but then we've found that there's about five, four or five incidents right in this general area right here, and that would classify as a cluster. Well, from here, you digital detectives need to figure out why there might be a cluster of this specific type of crime right here in this part of town. So if you're familiar with the capital city of Texas, you would know that these crimes right here, these particular purse snatchings, all occurred in downtown Austin. Um, and it's not too much of an inferential leap to acknowledge that that might be a common type of crime that would take place in a downtown area. And if you need a higher level of precision, Tableau allows you to use your mouse wheel to scroll in uh, and zoom in on this map to be able to better coordinate your data. We know that the best way to learn something is to practice. So your task now is to use this latitude and longitude feature in order to determine if there's another cluster that exists 
for a different type of crime somewhere in the city of Austin? And if so, identify it on the map. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, one and all, Eric, your course coordinator for OnRamps Computer Science 302, is signing out. Until next time.